everyone. Uh, I'm Sim Guru Sarah, and this is Sim Guru Sparks. And uh, we're here to give you your first look at Toddlers. Uh, Toddlers released today. It is a free update for the Sims 4 base game. So everyone who has base game can go and download Toddlers. Just log into Origin and get the latest Sims 4 patch. Uh, have, you, have you seen the news, guys? <laughs> yeah. Have you been looking at what's going on? You're aware, Let's right? You know what second. this live stream is about. Toddlers just launched this morning. <laughs> And we are it super is in excited. your game right now. <laughs> are you are you ready for this? <laughs> you guys ready to take a look? We're gonna take a look live. All right. All right. Ready when you are, Steve. <laughs> I'm working here. <laughs> Just got this set up. We're yeah. ready to go. Seriously. Steve. There we go. Oh, there you go. You're, both All right. Uh, so we're gonna take a look real quick at first at some of the new build by items. Um, we have these new toddler beds and. This one's really cute. This one's got a unicorn on it, which I really like. It also has car decals. Um, and we've got this one over here that kind of matches our kids' bedroom furniture set from base game. Uh, we also have a third one that's not pictured uh, that's kind of more high-end with classical wood. Uh, we have this lovely new toddler dollhouse, which is really cute. And it's a little hard to see here in his hand, but he has Clara from My Sims as one of the dolls, which is really fun. Um, Mom over there, you know, she likes helicopters. Yeah, it was really important to us when we were putting the pack together that you'd be able to make a, a toddler space, that it wasn't just about having a toddler in your family, it was also about having toddlers in your home. Um, so if you go to build mode, you're going to be able to find toddlers over here in the kids sort. There's this new little icon here. These are the blocks. Um, this features the toddler care objects. These are not all of the objects that come with the toddler update. These are just the ones you're going to need to take care of your toddlers. So we've got things like high chairs and toys and potty that. chairs. Um, so these are what you're going to need to keep your toddler happy. This is the new toddler bookcase. This comes with all the new toddler picture books. If you don't buy this bookcase, you can buy the book separately through the bookcases, but this one has them all. Uh, we have the new Wabbit tablet because toddlers in the modern world use tablets. All uh, the time. This is like one of my favorite objects in the pack. This is, this is a new um, monster toy box. Uh, but there are a bunch of other things that are new. Um, we've got some new ceiling lights. Uh, oh, we have this one. This one's a floor lamp. I absolutely love this one. It's balloons. It's one of my favorites. I tried to figure out where to put it in this house, and I just couldn't, so it didn't make it here. Um, I'm blinking. I'm not seeing the cloud. Where are you? Where is the cloud? The cloud might there's be behind my camera. a beautiful cloud. Here we go. Here's the cloud. Um, so there's this fabulous New cloud. Light. It's super cute. I really it, like it. It scales really well up and down. Um, and we've got some other objects here in this house. Um, all of the wallpapers you're seeing are new wallpapers for toddlers. I'm absolutely in love with this gradient one. Um, this is the, a bunch of awesome colors. one of the toddler potties that looks like a monster. I love that. Um, we've got this really cute little cubby over here. This is a new dresser. Uh, super adorable. We have some new wall decals. This is one of them. There's uh, more in there. Um, we have these shelves that I really like. These are all the same shelf. So make sure when you go that you're using the design mode tool. Because um, there's a bunch of different designs for yeah. it, and it's really cute and so very versatile. I believe some of those designs actually merge together. You create a panorama. Yeah, you can like actually really put cool. a bunch of these together and sort of make um, a thing with the shelves. Which and they, is and they have neat. a slot. You saw they have a slot on them. You can put stuff on top of those shelves as well. Or you can put many things. Like this one up here has three different toys yeah. on it. Um, these are three of our new toys. We've got a kitty. We have a rubber ducky. Um, and we have this one. This we is we Mr. had to Blue do the Bear. rubber ducky. We did have to do the rubber ducky. <laughs> um, also, I'm sure many of you are as excited as I am by these curtains. They're very exciting. They're wonderful. Uh, if we use the design mode tool on them, you'll see we've got a bunch of different things here. Um, that I just absolutely love. I really like this rainbow one. Um, and they come not only tied back, but you can also get the drapey version. I'm um, also going to show you the bookshelf over here, the toddler bookshelf. This has a bunch of different designs on it too. So as you're playing with the new objects, make sure you look at all the different design modes because you're going to find a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. We um, buried some neat variations in that design tool. Yeah. And your regular colors, of course, are there, but also some nice patterns that don't look at all like the original object. So that one's kind of fun. Um, also, there's this new rug. I love this rug. Um, those are not the only objects in the pack. There are some other ones. Uh, there, there's an end table, um, and there's another light. The chair. And, there's yeah, a chair. Yes, chair. I. you know what? I'll show off the chair. Taz, if you're watching, you're going to love this chair. There's a ton <laughs> of work that went into this update for you guys. We're really excited. Oh, except I went into sofas because I fail. There we go. Chairs. Uh, this is a new chair. It's really, really cute. It's got some different designs on it. Um, we just absolutely love this. Got for, that. For whatever your toddler's favorite uh, bear we is. We snuck a we freezer tried bunny in there because, <laughs> you know, I'm in love with freezer bunny, even if other people in the world are not. All right, uh, so let's take a look at the toddler's gameplay. Um, we have fan favorite, excited? Amber. 
Amber's Ren. here. Amber has two toddlers. Uh, she's playing on the dollhouse here with Andre. Oh, I can't see this. There it is. Um, so Andre is a clingy trait sim. So he really likes to hang out with mom. You want to talk about the clingy trait? Yeah, so we, when we were doing our traits, we wanted to make sure the toddlers felt different from each other. Um, we had a unique opportunity with traits when we were designing them because toddlers only have one trait at a time, and so we could really make them feel distinct from each other. We didn't have to worry about them stacking on top. And so these traits are really strong, they're really expressive. Clingy sims love to be near their parents. They like to hang out with people that they know, and they're kind of afraid of strangers. They don't really want to be near other sims. Uh oh, he needs to use the diaper. So we're just gonna have him go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, and now mom's gonna need to change his diaper. You can also use the potty chair and you can potty train them. Uh, we'll take a look at them using the potty chair later. Um, you want to talk about toddler care a little bit? I was going to say, that watch this diaper change. Every once in a while, it can go horribly wrong. Um, so oh, Amber's a pro. Fine. Amber's a pro. It's yeah. fine. Um, there's, there's a lot to this pack in terms of taking care of your toddlers. Of course, parenting is a big part of having a kid. Um, but we also wanted to sort of preserve that moment of, hey, I care about this toddler. I want to make sure that they're okay without making it completely destroy your life. We, there were some early builds we did where you, you would try parenting your toddler and it would take every waking moment that you had, and we tried to find a really, really good middle ground. Oh, he's hugging the unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve is laughing at me over there. She, she might do that like every three <laughs> minutes or so. You know, to get I do. I think they're really cute. I, I do. Seen, I seen this before. I, I've seen it like 5,000 times. Uh, over here we have Ashley. Ashley's playing with the nesting blocks. Will you tell us about the nesting blocks? Yeah, here? we have blocks, blocks for toddlers. <laughs> surprise, surprise. We've got blocks. Yeah, so the blocks are a great object for the toddlers. Oh, yeah. um, they have skills, and we'll talk about skills more in a minute. Um, but they're one of the classic toys. We really wanted to bring them in. They, they're yeah, small, they and you can kind of use them to entertain your toddlers. Uh, very traditional skill-building object. All right, let's I talk mean, about skills. Yeah, let's talk about it. Because the nesting blocks, so you can build two skills with your nesting blocks. You can build your hand-eye coordination and your movement skill. Um, that's primarily you want your movement skill to uh, to improve your walking. Right When they start off walking, they kind of, you'll see right now. Hopefully she's going to walk around a little bit. Oh, no, she's going to grump. Okay, take your time. All right. Yeah, so when they start walking, they're very wobbly, they're not very fast, or they can't climb stairs. But by leveling up your movement skill, by doing stuff like playing with the blocks, you'll be able to run, you'll be able to walk faster, you'll be more stable. Um, with your nesting blocks, you can also level up your thinking skill, which helps yeah, you I think free will uh, take is care of yourself. Off, which is why they're not doing a whole lot. Sarah loves to play with free I do. Will off. I play with free will off. I, I like to uh, lord over my sims as their savior and god. And tormentor. We have a lot of different kinds of players in the office. Sarah's always my, uh, <laughs> my autonomy off player. So she's going to go potty. Right You'll notice as she's going potty here, she's, she's actually got a potty skill. Similar to, go back to previous games. Yeah, so this is, this is a, a small skill for toddlers. It only has three levels. The first level, they don't really know how to use the potty. They want the parent to help train them. Second level, like uh, Amber has, or uh, what was her name? Ashley, I believe? Ashley, Ashley. has here. Um, she can use the potty, but she's not very good. She's a bit, she's got, uh, it takes a bit of time. And then at level three, she can go all by herself. And she doesn't need any help. We're going to take a look at bathing toddlers. Also, do you see they are carrying toddlers? Yes. They can pick them up. They can put them down. <laughs> they can carry them places. It's so exciting. Uh, these bath animations are just super cute. There we've got rubber ducky, because who doesn't love rubber ducky? And we've got Splashing. bunny sponge. There's bubble baths. Yes, you can take bubble, bubble baths, baths, which is pretty exciting. She's going to clean other. his hair there because everybody needs nice, clean hair. There's, I'll tell you up front, there, there's happy buffs, but there's also playful buffs, and there can be some tense buffs that come out of a, a oh, bath yeah. gone horribly wrong. Want every little object, we wanted to tell its own story. So you'll see that different Perfect. outcomes come from playing with the blocks. The toddlers can get bored of them. From taking a bath, the toddlers can make puddles. There's a puddle right there. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, it's a big puddle big under puddle, Amber here. Splash. That's yeah, what Amber, happens when you splash. Did Amber get splashed? I've given a toddler a bath once ever, and she pretty much destroyed my bathroom. It was it was super stressful. I was babysitting. 
doesn't happen. Uh, and this every was like time. in the last year, right? Like I just <laughs> don't have experience like, with Doppler. Like you were like 16 or something. No, this was this was recently. This was Play my with niece. The tablet. Play with the tablet. Yeah. Um. So let's do you draw see, with llama. Tablet's a great example of uh, the four main skills that toddlers have. If you click on it again, we can we can check those out. And each the toddler uh, the uh, tablet. Sorry. Has, We've got icons. Icons showing yeah, the skills. Four see how they match skills, in the skill panel. Uh, four different interactions that show all four different skills. If you want to train each one. Um, toddlers one of the unique objects. Toddlers tend to. Uh, sorry. I keep doing that. The tablet. The tablet is one of our unique objects. <laughs> and look, it. it's got cute little. Uh, she's drawing. Yeah, cute games, and and it, it's one of the few things that c the toddlers can actually uh, stay and play for uh -oh. a very long. What does mom want to do? Uh oh, wait. They just want to talk. Oh, they just want to talk. They like talking. Yeah. So mom's gonna sit on the bed. Notice Ashley here. She can't talk yet. She only can babble. And if you're hearing over your audio there, she's. They've got really cute babbling and gurgling noises. As she levels up her communication skills, she'll actually learn to talk and gain a lot of new social skills. So we're going to have uh, Andre here ask for some food. Uh, Andre is communication skill level three, so he's a little more polite than some other toddlers. He's, he knows, he's the older toddler. Yeah, he's the family. older toddler. He knows how to say please. He's like, you know, I'd really like some food. Grilled cheese would be great, yep. but I'll take anything. Uh, watch, mom's, watch. Amber here is going to pick him up. Take him over to get some food. She's going to take him over there. Um, you can slot the high chairs into the table, or you can have them just by themselves into the high chair we go all right now she's gonna go get him some food oh she's got peas yum <laughs> peas are healthy i saw that for for grilled cheese i, don't know. <laughs> I well you know mom, mom's being vegetable. a good mom and she's like here's the vegetable um if we're lucky he's gonna make a mess with his peas it's really cute when they make a mess which what was his trait again uh he's clingy he's clingy yeah so maybe not so likely to make a mess some of the other traits are much more uh, wild uh, troublesome yeah Wild, wild trade or, or fussy trade would, would probably make a, a giant pile on the floor. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. So she's still busy with that tablet. Uh, toddlers love tablets, just like adults. And honestly, if you've ever seen a kid interact with an iPhone, like a really small kid, that's all they want to do. Yeah. That's why it's a great babysitter at restaurants. It's not. It's not as good at building skills as some of the other things you can do in the game. Part of the fun, if you're a, a min-maxing, you know, challenge yourself player is to find some of the interactions that give you more skill, particularly working with your parents. If your parent teaches you, that's a great way to gain skill with toddlers. She does not want to go to sleep. Let's just lower her energy. Cheating! Cheat! Cheating! I know, I cheat cheating. all the time. All the time I cheat. All right. Do not try that at home. I mean, <laughs> it's not gonna I'm a terrible only. cheater. Oops, well, that had some issues there. All right, so she's going to put her down on the bed, and she's going to tell her a bedtime story. And this is this is probably one of the cutest, best moments in the game. We're all just absolutely in love don't, with this. Don't show it. Don't show, oh, there it is. Um, you know. Oh, yeah. Look at the monster pajamas. Oh, my God. Monster pajamas. <laughs> Let me collapse this so you can see a little better here. But, yeah, Amber is going to read her. And if you watch the toddler's eyes, the toddler's going to get sleepier and sleepier until she falls asleep while mom is reading her a book. Those are custom toddler books, too. They have pictures. It's true. Let's special, go around. Special look pictures here. Looks like this one's got some dinosaurs yeah. in it. Ooh, dinosaurs and princesses. You, you can read those books also to children. They'll all gather around and listen together. She's getting sleepier and sleepier. Um, and we've left him over here in the high chair. If you do He's that long enough, out. he'll start throwing a fit. It's true, yeah. He will uh, <laughs> He'll get pretty fussy. Um, and there's an interaction you can click on them. Nope. Oh, nope. Never mind. He doesn't have the interaction because she's already trying to get him out. So he's yeah. like, yay, thank you. So the adults, if they have nothing else to do, they will help take care of their toddlers. Uh, they're not perfect oh, at yeah, it. You're here, probably we'll significantly better like your out. classic uh, Sims game, but they will help each other. Uh, so he's going to ask mom for help. He wants to build his movement skill through dancing. And she's like, yeah, I'll help you dance. This is one of the cutest it is. The toddler dancing is really cute. Um, there's different dancing for different movement skill levels. Oh, no, he's tired. Okay, I'm going to cheat again. Watch me cheat. Woo! <laughs> now, now you're just tired. All right. We're going to have him dance. Okay, let's try this we know, again. We know you can cheat, too. Now we, that he's we, less we tired. We fully endorse it. You all cheat. I know it. <laughs> At the very least, you're, you're doing simoleons. Come on. Okay, no, he just doesn't want to. That's okay. He's going to dance. He's going to come over here to the music. All right, look at that toddler get down. Look at him boogie. <laughs> if, you have, if you click on Amber, we can have her teach him how to dance, too. He'll learn it. She's got some, yeah, she, some does, stuff uh, she doesn't feel like teaching dancing right okay. now. Um, but yeah, so the dancing will level with different movement skills. And we're going to show you something else with movement skill right now. Uh, let's see. Exit to main menu. Toddlers learn twice as fast building skills with older Sims. Thank you, game tip. 
So this right. is uh, this was made by our one and only Simger Romeo, uh, who during <laughs> toddler development was really into racing toddlers. Uh, I, I test him it's, with, it's the latest with helping grade, with right? movement uh -huh. skill, yeah, and okay. yeah, this uh, this was his favorite way <laughs> to do it. All right. So, so we've so got, as we said, as we said, <laughs> toddlers as they level their movement skill, they get they get faster, right? So, um, how would you know? Well, you would uh, you would race your toddler. Oops. That's that's oh, man. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. So, I, so yeah. we don't have a little game we, we want to play. Till you're ready. All right, we're on, gonna cue this up here. here. As you can see, we have we have a race course set up. We have the green toddlers, the yellow toddlers, yeah. the red wait, toddlers. Wait, wait, wait! I gotta zoom in on them. Um, we're gonna race them down to see who gets their toy first. All right, oh, yes. Hold on, hold on, don't unpause. Hold on. No, so, I'm so, not unpausing, I'm not unpausing. I'm just giving uh, us a, yes. a view here of our racers. You, know, you should pick the one you think is cutest. Each one has a different uh, toy that they're going faster. for. Also, how much do you love these yeah, pajamas? Yeah, so here, here, here the green toddler. Green team. What's the toy for the green team? Here? Oh, well, you know, let me toy. zoom back over what there. Are, what are they racing Whee! for? All right, green toddler In is the going green here. Corner. This is Butterfly McButterfly Face. Yeah, a, a favorite here. One of the, the classics toddler of toddlerhood. <laughs> Everybody remembers That's their That's right. Uh, you know, toddlers. I had one. Um, um, the yellow team. Yellow team has for. to be a forever ducky. Absolutely. You, if you're a classic, if you're a traditionalist. Uh, this is Tentacle Tom, our little monster toy. Uh, we joke during development, this is the monster in the bed. The monster in the bed. Everybody knows, like, you can become friends with really him, and he's like. been immortalized now as a toy. He's got beautiful tentacles. Uh, and over here, we've got Mr. Blue Bear, who we saw on the shelf earlier. Whee! And He's very blue. Blue team racing for the blue bear. All right, Steve, are we ready? Are people you, voting? You know, um, who's in the lead? So here's how they the don't know how. yeah here's so how the voting is going to vote. Work. Okay. So we, we need you because they're um it's, we're gonna are we doing something yeah, we, for uh, the well, well, well why don't we vote first is what yeah. I would say. Okay. So, I don't even know if this is going to we'll work. Okay. So we're gonna right, we're gonna Steve, do this yes, shot. Steve's trying. So we need to, you uh, not to vote for your team. We need you to vote the order in which you think the toddlers are gonna place here. So go ahead and vote if you think. Uh, we'll pick red team or so blue team and then yellow team. You got you got to tell us the order. You, I don't even remember which one's gonna win it. Yeah, we don't know. Phoenix, Phoenix uh, has it now. Yeah, I knew yesterday, but to get it. Oh yeah. You so gotta close. vote with the yeah. R G B Y in the order. So, yeah, all four put, of them. Put your abbreviations in. If you want red team, you gotta use R. Green, uh, yellow team is gonna be Y. Green team's gonna oh be G, <laughs> and blue team's gonna All be. All right, is everybody oh, ready? Wait, okay, wait. <laughs> no, Steve's not ready. Steve. No, because they, they don't understand it. I have no way of. How do you stop the chat? <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're gonna go. Everybody go. Let's do it. No. Go, go toddlers, go! Come on, Green, Green is pulling ahead. Green is pulling ahead so fast. Come on, Blue, you can catch up. All right, nobody's catching up. Green. Who's gonna take second place? Who's gonna take second place? Yellow, red, come on. Green, yellow, very close. Blue's working on it. Oh, red just. Oh, right, there's two <laughs> notification. Oh, green, over. green wins. Don't, don't watch this race. It's too important. Okay, okay, let's go. Who's going to take second place? Oh. All right, I think blue is going to be inside the head. But, you know, wait, wait, it looks like it's a tie here for, for third. Yeah, wait, yellow. Yellow and Yellow red. just got to gotta pull it oh, together. Oh. Yellow's got this. Come on, blue. Blue's almost there. Oh, wait, yellow. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, red, red's. Oh, red's green, right green's celebrating tail. already. That's not very nice. Oh, come on, yellow. Yellow's <laughs> thinking about yep. cheese, the yellow food item. <laughs> oh, yellow came Team in third. Spirit. Okay. And red, so red came green in and fourth. First, green in first place. Green in first place. So, blue green, uh, this is the maximum level of movement skill you can have. They can run, they don't stumble very much. Uh, yellow here. Yellow and blue both. I uh, can you look at them? I don't know what they were. Oh, yeah, so um, red is actually movement skill level zero. Okay. Oh, also exciting. Once you get movement skill level one, uh, toddlers can walk upstairs on their own. Yes. I, know, I know you've yes. all been waiting for that, like, since the Sims right. 2. Forever. <laughs> uh, but prior to level one, you're going to have to carry them up the stairs. Uh, and then as their movement skills progress, they'll actually get faster going up the stairs and they'll stumble less. Um, but, yeah, so yellow here is movement skill level one. And blue, I believe, is level three. Yes. Level three. Uh, so that's kind of how so movement why, skill why, works. Why was blue? What, what happened to blue? Blue just choked. No, blue came in. Uh... And blue was last, right? No, no, no. Yellow, yellow was last. Yellow was last. Okay. okay. No, red was last. Red was last. Red, red, red was, was last. last. And there were three. Like, yeah. Yellow so... was last. Oh, you're right. Red was yeah, last. Red was well... last. Red just choked under pressure. I mean, we're really sorry, red sorry, fans. Keep Next ball. time. But look at these cute. Also, let's shot. look at these. Look at these cute like play with toy animations. Um, yeah, he just ran. I don't know if you saw it. The best one's like when they hug the toy. It's so cute. Yeah. Well, and um, have we shown the? Oh, there um, we go. He's hugging his butterfly um, over there. You might want to level up the imagination skill and show some of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do that. Uh, let's take a look at green. One of the things there. we've added in uh, in toddlers and, and children can do this level as well. One. Guess what? I'm gonna cheat again. 
<laughs> Watch me cheat, skill. Dan. So one of the things imagination skill gives you is is better uh, better imagination, right? So we want to show that through the toys, through playing, and you'll see as they're playing. We might need to start get this working. over again. Um, cheating, cheating cousins. Well, yeah, he might need to stop playing right away, and play and then again. Put it again. Uh, that they'll oh, actually play differently as they level up their imagination skill. Oh, he pulled so. it back out again. There we go. All right. We're going to play. And now he should get some re really awesome imagination skill VFX. Um, these change with the different levels of imagination skills. See, he's playing with his butterfly, and he's imagining yeah. his butterfly in a beautiful carriage. Or maybe his butterfly is flying through space. See, there's different levels of this. At lower levels of skill, they'll think about shapes and yeah. other sort of abstract Sparkly concepts. Makes... Also, did you notice these are unicorns? These are unicorns pulling the carriage? There are unicorns everywhere. Toddlers love unicorns, just like grown women. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. well, I think we're going to stop now, and we're going to pull over and do some Q&A. Uh, so if you have questions, please put them in the chat, uh, and we'd be happy to answer yeah, them. Do you want to... Go back to the other game, and we'll, we'll go through oh. some of these questions. Yeah, yeah we yeah. can do that. We can watch, watch them play a little bit. Okay, so some questions in the chat. Hi, guys. Start asking your questions. We'll, we'll take a look. Um, do they keep their traits when they grow up to be children? No. Uh, toddlers' traits are toddler-specific. And when they grow up to be children, you'll get prompted to pick a new to uh, child trait. But there are some bonuses if you get your skill points leveled up. Right, yeah. So if you can level up your skills... Um, all your skills, not just the, not just one, but if you can take good care of your toddlers and, and have a good toddlerhood, then they'll actually be faster at gaining skills later in life. They'll gain a special trait. Oh, here, I'm going to show you something cute, too, that we didn't look at before. Okay, everybody stop what you're doing. This is why I play with Grewal, because you know what? I don't like them doing things. Um, they're, they're little people, Sarah. They have little lines people of their shouldn't own. do things any more than big people should. But let's watch the toddlers hug. Oh, yes. Yeah, so that was actually yes. one of our this other questions. Are there really any toddler, yes. toddler interactions? Absolutely, uh, there are. This is the cutest um, thing ever. She's got she's to gotta stumble over there, too. I'm just like, you oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, oh, no, we didn't want to be home. Oh, no. oh. oh. Well, um, that happens. <laughs> That's so sad. They, uh, they might again. have been fighting. And, That's uh, adorable. Yeah, so you see there's a couple of different interactions. Oh, there we go. That time he did it. Yes. Oh, Okay. So actually, there are, there are more interactions than what you just saw on the pie menu. Th those are based on the skills that you develop as you uh, as you level up, as no you get way. more experience. So, so these she's are, still these bitter are... about that lack of hug there. Yeah. She, she doesn't really know how to talk yet, so she doesn't have a lot of talk sessions, for example. That's true. So, um, I believe yeah. he is a higher They're really, they, they are level. off to a bad start. <laughs> he's communication skill level three. Yeah, so he'll so, have, Yeah, he'll see, have like, a he has all sorts more. of things. Um, he's going to talk about princesses. And she will listen. Maybe because his sister politely? loves princesses. For a second? Princesses and unicorns. Let's see what happens. Yeah, she's oh, kind no, I'm not good. interested in these princesses. Oh, oh. Yeah, I like banana peels. Sisterhood conquers all. Um, we're going to have her read a book, too. Sweet. Oh, all right, her... uh, more questions? Should we take another one? Will there be vampire alien oh. and toddlers? Where are the books? We just talked about vampires earlier this week, coming out later in uh, January. Uh, right? Yes. So there, if you have Get to Work, uh, there is an alien diaper in Cass, uh, and your toddlers will have alien skin tones, alien eyes, alien babies will grow up into alien toddlers. Alien. And you know what? Free will is off again, too. I think. That's why they're not doing anything. Sorry, I didn't save when I exited. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, oh. yeah, so All right, go do some things, toddlers. <laughs> so you'll definitely be able to have your aliens grow up from being babies all the way up to being adults. Um, and, and the same for vampires, too. Yes. Vampires uh, yeah. will grow up all the way through. Uh, in both um, cases, the powers don't emerge till the sims are older, uh, similar to how yeah. children work. Yeah, so They're still a little freaky, but they're uh, not, not going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> The older ones, so you'll have to wait. Oh, she's going to go potty. So uh, can they walk by themselves, or do you have to teach them? They, they can start off walking, absolutely. Uh, moving skill level one is enough to teach them to walk with that wobbly walk we saw in the toddler races. Uh, what else we got? We talked a little bit about stairs. Will they go up and down stairs on their own? Uh, yes, they will. Uh, after that movement skill level one, if you direct them to go upstairs, or you decide that or they decide they want to go upstairs to play with something or do something, they will go up on their own. Oh, look at him sleep. Look at him sleep. It's so cute. Uh, sorry. Had a, had a, <laughs> had a moment. Cute. I know, it really, it really <laughs> is cute. <laughs> um, we had a question. Uh, do toddlers go to daycare when adults go to work? Yes, yes, they do. Yes, absolutely. If you leave your toddlers at home, they don't disappear or try and take care of themselves. They'll be sent to daycare, and they'll actually... Uh, daycare will try and feed them and she's and on the toilet again. nap time and they'll actually learn a bit of, bit of skills as well 
Um, you can also hire your nanny too if you want. Uh, the nanny will take care of your toddlers. Um, your butler will try and take care of them. Yeah. He's very busy. Um, he's got a lot to he's take care of. He's got butler things going on. He, uh, I wouldn't rely just on the butler unless he had. Uh, Dan, you want to talk a little bit about the intention motive? Oh, absolutely. We haven't talked about intention yet. Yeah. So, college has a special motive. Um, instead of being social, they, they don't really care too much about uh, what other people think of them or, or just talking in general. They care about how much their parents are paying attention to them. So if you're playing with a toddler, you need to make sure they socialize with oh, oh, people that they oh, know, people that they are good friends with, or their parents, or both. If, if your friends are good friends, that really helps their attention motive. That's true. Um, um, I'm going to cheat some of his motives down. All right, there oh, we go. He's oh, sad. He's so, sad. So, our, our goal, we talked a little bit about toddlers. We haven't talked about what we were trying to do. Big picture, <laughs> one of our big goals was to make sure that parenting was a big part of the he's pack. Not, he's not sad um, enough yet. Uh, so we really wanted those those cute loving moments as well, and we wanted to show that growth you've seen in the skills. But also, of course, toddlers are not always rainbows and flowers. Grow tantrum. Sometimes they're also a, a little bit of tantrum. trouble. Um, so you you got to be prepared, particularly with your fussy toddlers, that they're gonna they're gonna get mad at you sometimes. Oh, oh it's coming. Throw oh, he's gotta get up. He's gonna... <gasps> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> There are actually stop, two different stop. kinds of fits based on your emotion. You can have your angry fit that you see here or your sad fit. Yeah, there's they, a sad they, one as well. Uh, they cry. They cry and, and they're really upset. Very sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and she's going to ignore them like yeah, any good well, parent. She's got, she's got another one. Oh, also there's this new toddler care menu uh, that you'll see yes. on your toddlers. Um, and this has all the things you'll need to take care of them, giving them food, drinks, putting them to bed, uh, changing their clothes, giving baths. All that good stuff. We wanted to have like a, a one-stop lap. shop for any of your critical needs. There are plenty of other toddler interactions <laughs> in the other menus, but um, if you need, if you're looking for food, you, it, it helps to just jump into the toddler kitchen. Uh, we have another question: Can toddlers play with the original dollhouses too? Yes, they can. They can play with all of them. Uh, we just wanted and the to make, toys. yeah, and the toys. They, they can play with all of those. Um, we just wanted to make a new one that kind of had more blocky furniture that felt a little more like something toddlers might have because our current dollhouses definitely skew older child. Yeah. Um, uh, are there any more questions? You want you want to talk a little bit about caregivers? Um, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about caregivers. Yeah. So, um, caregiving. It, we we realize when you play The Sims, we have traditional parents and we, you, mothers and fathers, but there are also untraditional families, and and maybe you want your brother taking care of your toddler. So, within the game, when you're playing, you can actually mark. I think it's under toddler care. Uh, or is it, or I she's think already she a already is a caregiver. So you I can don't see know it in the it. in the relationship panel if you open that up. You'll be able to see that people get marked as caregivers when you're looking at them. And uh, here she's a, she's a mom, so that that's good enough. Yeah, if um, she was not her mom, um, if she was adopted or um, whatever, yeah. you can set if you want to set your brother. It, there's an interaction you'll find in the pie menu. Um, you can also set it through the uh, um, in cast if you set them as mother or yeah. father. It'll automatically. If you're telling the story too, you know, if you have multiple generations in the house and you want the grandparents to be caregivers for the toddlers, you can yeah. do that. And, and why this matters, if you're not a caregiver for a toddler, you'll you'll interact with them, you'll you'll play with them, but you're not going to be as interested, you know, autonomously in taking care of their needs. And Amber loves loves putting away toys. She's she's taking them off all the shelves where they look so pretty. She must be. And she. <laughs> Uh, are there any more questions? Uh, can toddlers sleep in regular beds? No, they cannot. Uh, toddlers sleep in these special toddler beds. They've got little uh, things here so they don't fall out. Very important. When they grow up to children, they graduate to big kid beds. We can. Um, I guess. Uh, yeah, if you want, people are asking what are the toddler traits. Um, the full list is in the patch notes. If you haven't seen those, we're going to go all the way over check here. Check those out. Um, Bunch of requests to see We've cats. Talked a bit about so. those. I could try and run through them off the top of my head. Yeah, go for it. Okay, let's see. We've got uh, silly, wild, fussy toddlers, charming toddlers, clingy toddlers, uh, angelic toddlers. Those are your nice, uh, easy to take care of toddlers. Um, and I'm miss this am I missing one? Really I think I'm missing one. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Oh, you know, I wasn't listening. I was so many. distracted by these cute, cute clothes. <laughs> Look, more unicorns, everyone! <laughs> every day, every the day, The unicorns guys. come in two colors! Every, every day. Like that's what Sarah's been like the entire <laughs> work day. Uh, this is one of my favorites, just because there's so many cute colors and designs and stuff. Um, I love these overalls. I had I had overalls, actually, that were a lot like this. There's a picture of me wearing blue overalls with a red shirt with my hair done up in pigtails like this that my mom has. Um, oh, look, this one's got a little lion. Um, of course, there's the pajamas that we've been showing off. Yep. They're yep. really super cute. cute. Patterns. Um, also, if we look at this one. Oh, no! Oh, the bunny on the butt! Uh, same thing the with butt. the lion. They have different things yeah. on the back. If you pick different colors, oh. you can pick your favorite okay, let's animal. Let's rotate you back around to the front. Um, we've got this cute little dress for little girls. It's, it's pretty adorable. cute. <laughs> um, we've also got a bunch of separates here that you can mix and match. So we've got shirts. Um, These are your plain shirts, and 
pattern. Yeah, got some pattern shirts over here. Yeah, everything has plain and patterned, which is, uh, except for this one. This one's all patterns. Oh, look, cowboys. Pajamas. Yeah, these are pajamas. These are, I really like these. If you look, my Twitter avatar is wearing this shirt right now because yeah. uh, it's so cute. I, I have to admit, my toddlers sometimes run around with pajamas at school. <laughs> I wear pajamas all the time. Okay. These are really cute. Got the candy with the puppy. Um, and then, of course, the solid color ones. Um, this one's also really nice. Uh, I really like this a lot. This feels very, like, you know, upscale, fancy toddler. Uh, got this little plaid shirt. Comes in lots of colors. Oh, this one's really fun, too, this t-shirt. First of all, there's the avocado. We all are in love with the avocado. Uh, but it's got a bunch of other uh, cute, cute designs on it. <gasps> Unicorns! Uh, and an otter! Oh, my God, an otter! Uh, and a bunch of plain, solid colors here. Uh, Dan's been listening you to me for like ever. You didn't even show the unicorn <laughs> wallpaper or the wall decal. Which we have to go back and show. We have to go find that. Okay, okay. On their there's, own. there's a. There's well, also a new door. Go find the door, everyone. Uh, we got some really cute bottoms here. Got this skirt. This skirt's a lot of fun. Uh, I like this one. Reminds me of Charlie Brown. Um, <laughs> even though it's a girl. <laughs> uh, we got these cute little shorts. I'm sorry, skirt. Skirt. Yep. Uh, the shorts are down here. There are no unicorns on the shirts. No. I'm sorry to say. Or the shorts. Shirts, shorts, 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 shirts. I'm just, I'm so excited to be here showing this to you guys. <laughs> this like, is, you have this no is idea. amazing for us. You We're have really no idea. excited. And we hope you guys are too. Pants. Um, and also, there's just, you know, if you want the classic diaper, there's yeah. the classic diaper. Um, so, yeah. Uh, show you one more thing that's really Shoes. cute. We've got this really cute oh, yeah. little suit, suit for the little boys. Um, or you can put it on your little girl. But I really like this asset. It's really cute. Um, let me show you a few of the other things. Uh, you can do things in cast with them. Oh, never mind. I, you can't because I'm in the dresser, not the mirror. Uh, let's look at some of To clarify, you can, add, you can totally edit their face and do all the things you expect in cast. Yeah, there's also freckles. Um, there's two different sets of freckles, which is really fun. Um, also, we have this and adorable hats. sun hat. I love this one. This one's really cute. It goes so well with the little dresses. Uh, not so well with the suit, but that's okay. Also, there's these guys. These are like, Puffy. these are some of my favorite things that we made in cast. They're just so cute. So cute. Okay, uh, let's see. What other questions, other questions? are there? So, uh, small things people ask about the caregivers, if they can have more than one adult be a caregiver mm -hmm. at a time. Um, yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I thought Dan was going to answer that. Like, you yeah. gotta, you gotta have as many as yeah, you want, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can even, uh, you, as long as they're not mom and dad, you can take off caregivers. <laughs> you don't want them to be caregiver anymore. If you want to tell, if your story changes or somebody uh, has a fight with their, their fiance, um, you can have them stop being Ooh. caregivers. There are two new radio stations. Uh, we have the kids' radio station, and we have the lullaby radio station. Uh, so those are kind of fun. Um, lullabies plays soothing lullabies, and the kids' radio station kind of plays some upbeat stuff that hopefully is reminiscent of children's songs that you were forced to sing in elementary school. Um, let's see. We have some other questions. So how do you how do you uh, get a new toddler? If you want oh. to play with toddlers right now, what do, what do I do? Uh, you can adopt a toddler. You can create one in cast, or you can age up a baby. Uh, so those are all all options to get toddlers. That's worth saying, too, for people who are not excited about world. toddlers. Um, we're sorry. I get, No, no, no. <laughs> if you don't want to play with your, your toddler, you can totally age them up. But with a birthday cake, just like you normally can with other Sims it's at true. any time. So you don't have to play with life's age. Would we like to see the age up on the birthday cake? Would you all like to see a toddler age up? Yes. All right, I have to cheat. I have to yeah, thank most you, Steve. Steve wants yeah, to see it. They can't hear it. All right, I'm going to move this high chair over here. Um, Amber's going to have to make a cake. So, you know what? I'm just going to delete this high chair because we're about to only have one toddler. Um, Amber here is... Nope, that's not Amber. Come here, Amber. Amber is going to bake a cake. Ooh, white cake or chocolate I'd say cake? These down. are some, some of our best behaved toddlers I've seen. In white cake. Yeah, Ooh, and there's something, there's something else exciting with the cake. Um, it's really cute. You're going to love it. Uh, we're going to speed three through her baking process here. You can do it, Amber. You can bake this cake. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be delicious. Totally <laughs> parenting right now. Oh, no! You weren't supposed to <laughs> do that! Aww. Amber, it's Amber. <laughs> All right, this is why you have it's free Amber. will it off, is everyone. It is it's, Amber. You have free will off. Where's where's my where's our it's Amber poster? I know. Where did that go? <laughs> Amber. I shouldn't all right. have expected this. First of all, Amber, you're gonna clean this cake up. You're gonna put it away. <laughs> you've ruined you've ruined my birthday. 
All right. You're now going to bake it was, a she new She thought it was her birthday. Cake. She's going to have a, she's going to bake chocolate cake this time. And she needs to put that other piece of cake down. She doesn't get to eat it. Oh, well, that's one way to put it down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she'll figure there it we out go. Eventually. Good job, Amber. Good job. Now go bake me that cake. <laughs> she just, I think she, yeah, she yeah, got confused because she, she had it. cake stuck to her hand. She's still thinking about that last cake that she Does that ate? remind everyone of a certain butler you may have been watching over hey. Christmas? <laughs> Trashy was good. Oh, man. That was like, that's like Steve's greatest moment. Was, uh, uh, it was so log. much fun. I'd love to. <laughs> Yeah, we I have to look at Amanda to see if we can do a toddler one. No, that was like Steve's. That was all Steve too. That was just one hundred percent his passion yeah, project. Andrew and Steve has been having a lot of fun. All uh, right, all right, we're not gonna eat this one. No. <laughs> all right. Well, Amber really, really wants cake. Uh, so I guess you'll have to go look at the birthdays yep. on your own. Also, that ended up on the floor somehow. Uh, <laughs> look, it's a toddler. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, we hope you have a lot of fun playing with the toddlers. Uh, if you have any questions, um, some Guru Sparks yep. and I will be on Twitter today answering your questions. Uh, we hope you have a lot of fun with yeah, them. Yeah, we had a lot of fun making them. We've been listening, obviously. That, like, yeah, just take a moment and say this is something we're really happy to deliver for you that, guys. That toddler's sad, though. We're happier than that toddler. Yeah, <laughs> not that. We're One of them sleeps. Here so we we're, go. We're, That's we're, a happy toddler. Asleep. A sleeping toddler is a happy toddler. Yeah. No, uh, we, we hope you guys are just as excited as we are. Um, She's dreaming of eagles. <laughs> Soar into the distance. <laughs> All right, with well, your have toddlers. fun, everyone, and thanks for oh tuning in. Oh. <laughs> There's a right. Bye, everyone. Have fun. Dream of the unicorns. Yeah. <laughs>